My name is Karen Strassman. And I think we make peace by listening for the love. Looking for the love. Putting your feelers out for the love. Because everybody is, everybody's just trying to be loved. Everybody's trying to, that's what, everybody, everything they're doing is they're just trying to be loved. The mistakes they're made, they're just trying to feel safe. They're just trying to, best ways they can. And I think a way to make peace is <clears throat> to perceive that part of that person that's just doing the best they can. Trying to find love, trying to be loved. That's all anybody's looking for, just trying to survive. Um, and I think if we can look at other cultures, other human beings, our enemies, our family members, we're just doing what we're doing with the tools, with the, you know, with the, the hand that we're dealt, with the crappy cards that we're held, we're dealt, you know, maybe, maybe we occasionally get a good card in there, but a lot of us are playing with cards that might not be the best. And if you can look at somebody and go, <clears throat> oh, well, they're doing that because that's how they're trying to be loved. Then we can look at them and perceive them and interact with them with compassion. And that doesn't mean that we have to sacrifice our wholeness um, or say what they're doing is okay. But we can look at them with compassion and see another human being in there that's just struggling or that's shining. And then, if we can look at that person and see something in that person that we have in common. Maybe we grew up in the same place. Maybe, maybe we both like the same kind of shoes. Maybe they're wearing a cool t-shirt or have the same color eyes that your sister has or find something and start from there because what we have in common is way more powerful than our differences and our differences is what makes us interesting and intriguing and our differences is what helps us learn the next step after seeing, I'm making this up, I don't know. The next step after seeing what we have in common and connecting on that level is to start to be curious. Start to be curious about our differences. What's it like being that person? What's it like growing up in that country? What's it like being on the street and being cold and angry? What's it like doing this or that? What's it like growing up like that? And start to cultivate just authentic, humble curiosity about what's it like to be over there? And um, ask questions. We, we've forgotten 
how to ask questions instead of just judging. How come, why did you say that? What's it like to feel that way? What makes you so angry? Why do you resent that so much? I think curiosity is, um, it's a magic wand, you know? And I think we all had that curiosity as kids. Why is the sky blue? And, um, and I think curiosity is right there for us. And what gets in the way of curiosity, I think, is our fear. I have to push this away because I don't know it and it's threatening. Um, and then through that curiosity and learning more, I think there is a natural understanding and sometimes even an affection that comes from learning more or just a natural, I'm curious about more, tell me more, tell me more. Um, and I think a really cool practice is learning to ask the first question. Just that one first question. What's that like to feel like that? Where does that come from? Um, but it's different from asking that question defensively, like where does that come from? But just like, how, why did you say that, you know? Um, so, those are some thoughts about how maybe we can make peace um, and discover, like, discover so much love <laughs> that we didn't know was there. Well, thank you. Make peace, you. Yeah.